Okay, just a quick uh, demonstration of the layout of these heron heads. Um, I say normally with a uh, petrol engine piston, you'll have a, you'll have a kind of a domed piston, perhaps with cutouts for valves. But in this case, you've got a uh, a flat topped piston with that's actually dished. And what's happened now? These are two exhaust valves because I've, I've changed them, so the inlet would normally be a bit bigger. But uh, what what happens is the valves actually instead of as I say with a a, a normal head. Uh, inlet, bang, exhaust, out. They're actually sitting parallel to each other and I actually go into the uh, piston space that under by how, how much. See there's a little tiny cut out there but I'm sure tolerances are quite close. Um, so that's it, just a, a bit of interest to someone who hasn't seen a slightly unusual uh, engine layout before and if it's in focus you can see that's that's actually the head I've changed the oh that's the inlet sorry that I've changed the exhaust it doesn't look new but it is new um, and it's just just completely as you'll see dead flat and there's your valves and valve springs collets so that's it so just slight in, slight uh, interest to some people uh, okay just as I've got it stripped down this far um, that's all just perched there really just to help me turn the engine over got the shaft in it's engaged so I can turn the engine over with the with the rear wheel um, I may as well split it there uh, and just check the clutch plate why not I've come this far um, so there won't be much left of this bike in the end. So, okay. That's it.